What up and welcome to Rama Screen YouTube channel and here's my review of Disney Channel and Disney Plus new movie From Pack. <sighs> okay, here we go. Buckle up. <laughs> Look, I don't mean to sound like a jerk, but if you never end up watching this movie, you are not going to miss a single thing. Prom Pact is not necessarily the worst out there, but as a teenage rom-com, it doesn't really reinvent the wheel. It doesn't bring anything fresh nor new to the table. Um, it's only sweet and cute to a certain extent, but for the most part, it's annoying and dull and formulaic. Oh look, yet another story about a boy and a girl who start out not liking each other, and then they like each other, and then they don't like each other again, and of course they end up with each other. <laughs> and of course there's the best friend, the third wheel comic relief, who's stuck wondering what his love life means in the grand scheme of things. Wow, you've seen one, you've seen them all, folks. Straight out of a rom-com assembly line. The only credit I give Prom Pack is its promposals that pay homage to the 80s, specifically to the legacy of the late great John Hughes. Um, but as creative as those are, they come off as nothing more than a string of briefly pleasant gimmicks. Okay, a bit about the story. In Prom Pack, it's the height of the prom season, and high school senior Mandy Yang and her best friend Ben are surrounded by over the top 80s themed promposals. Mandy, however, is not impressed. She's not distracted because she's laser focused on her goal, which is going to Harvard. When she finds out, though, that she has been put on wait list, she is determined to do whatever she can to get herself accepted into Harvard, even if it means asking for help from the one person she dislikes, a popular all-star jock named Graham Lansing, whose father is a senator and a Harvard alum. Once Mandy becomes Graham's tutor, she begins to realize that there's more to him than she thought, and perhaps there's more to life than just going to Harvard. You see? You see what I mean? You can practically visualize the entire movie in your head just based on that synopsis alone. Hell, I'm willing to bet that the trailer for Prom Pact basically gave the entire movie away. Well, since this film airs on both Disney Channel and Disney Plus, yes, rest assured that as far as coming of age goes, Prom Pact is as mild as it gets. Um, it doesn't press any buttons at all. Hell, the word edgy doesn't even come close to describing this film. Now, a lot of people are going to quickly dismiss Prom Pact as nothing but a woke movie. But in this film's defense, woke is just something that people say when they are too insecure to handle strong feminism coming from Payne's character, which is not even among this film's problems, if you ask me. You know what the problems are? The story is generic, the humor falls flat, the personal growth or the self-realization themes are soulless and uninspired. Margaret Cho has her moments as the sarcastic, quirky guidance counselor, but even she cannot save this movie from mediocrity. This whole project just reeks like an effort from Disney to funnel and recycle and reuse their actors, Peyton Elizabeth Lee and Milo Mannheim, just so that they could have something to do in between other gigs that they are also contractually obligated to do for Disney. Now, again, the John Hughes homage or homage aspect of this film will put a smile on your face. But is that worth sitting through the entirety of Prom Pact? I would argue no, not at all. I give Prom Pact the rating of two out of five, uh, put this tedious movie on your must-skip list. That's it. That's my review of Prom Pack. Smash that like button, share this video with everyone you know, and share your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.
Let's rock this.